Good morning guys and welcome to another video by Rysha UK. Um, I'm just going to show you something, uh, that time there. And the reason I'm showing you the time actually, um, and I'm going to refuse this job as well as come along, is because of what I'm about to do. Uh, let me just decline that job, probably. Right, um, let me just set that up properly, stick it in. Okay, um, so this is a story for today. Um, I picked up early in the morning a job, uh, a parents and her son, the son must have been about eight, nine years old, uh, dropped them at school and um, that was it, you know, I mean, nothing special, you know, I wouldn't say they were brilliant or anything like that, but there's, you know, there was no rudeness or anything like that, you know, just a normal job if you like to call that. Um, so what happened then was, obviously I went to the next job. And um, well, when that girl came into the car, back of the car, um, she goes, oh, is this yours, driver? Someone's left a um, bag. So, yeah, yeah, you know, I, um, I took the bag off her. Well, it was an actual bag. It was a school bag. And obviously, this is a school bag um, the kid and the parents uh, have left behind when for my last previous job. So I thought, you know, well, I'll have to return it somewhere down the line, you know, never thought too much about it actually. And I thought, you know, if I get a job back that way, I'll drop it off. Um, also, um, you know, I picked them up from Solihull. I mean, this uh, this school is in Meriden, by the way. It's for those who know, or, you know, if you want to know where the locations are. So obviously I've come to work, work in Coventry this morning, and which is for us guys in Birmingham, a lot busier place. I would recommend Coventry over Birmingham. So I'm having to refuse this job as well uh, because of the story I'm about to tell you. Um, so where was I? Yeah, so um, I uh, dropped them off. Um, uh, well, I thought to myself, you know what? I'll, um, I'll drop it off somewhere down the line anyway. It wasn't that important. Uh, and also, I mean, there's three three places you can actually drop um, with, the, if you want to call it lost properties or found properties, whatever it is. Uh, obviously, first place is where you drop them off. Um, you could drop it there. Secondly, obviously, the address you picked them off from. Uh, so, I, I, I mean, I knew where they came out of, even though Uber's uh, system doesn't exactly tell you this right address. I've seen them coming out of the door. So I thought, you know what, if I'm down slowly all that way, sometimes later on or whenever I'm around that end, I'll just drop the bag in. And obviously the last, you know, which is probably the one I mostly use is return it back to the Uber's office. You know, let them deal with it and let the passenger deal with it as well. Uh, so this is the third job that's come to me. No, I'm going to turn this off now. Well, I don't have to turn it off. You'll take me off the system anyway. Um, let me just turn it off. Yeah. Um, do you um, still accepting requests? He's saying, uh, not really, no. So anyway, um, then right, I had <clears throat> I had this sudden sudden thought about this uh, bag, you know, and and when I when I put that bag inside the boot, um, I did notice it was a bit bulky at the same time. So you know, and 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 this is what it is, you know, and this is the reason I'm having to come all this way, refuse all these jobs that you could see, uh, you could keep hearing uh, on the, that they're giving to me and everything. And I thought, you know, that bulk, uh, bulkiness within that school bag, is that guy's lunch? And I thought, you know what? You know, if this guy's a bit more, you know, I mean, obviously I'm presuming the school probably would provide some sort of a lunch if that guy didn't forgot to uh, bring, his, uh, bring his lunch pack, whatever. But I thought, you know what? What if that kid actually didn't mention it to the teachers? What if he actually, you know, a bit, was a bit scared? You know how how you know how do I feel? You know, I mean, and you know, I could I could stop that by actually going and dropping this off. You know, you know, and so this is what it was. You know, I just didn't I couldn't feel I didn't feel right, and also I had to get there before you know midday. I'm, I'm presuming that's the time they have lunch these days. Obviously, I, you know, I've been to school for a long time, but you know, it's quite important that you know if I if I was to return this, I was going to return it before lunch. And that's the reason I showed you the time at the start. Um, and so, you know, this is the reason, you know, and I'm not saying, you know, that I'm doing anything special. There's far more, you know, special thing or greater things or more hard, you know, meaningful 
uh, things other drivers has done for the passengers, you know, and uh, us drivers, we don't, we don't really get, you know, acknowledged for it. I don't think we even, you know, and the thing is that also, I don't think we really want to be acknowledged for it, you know, it's, it's, it's a part of the job. Um, obviously, Uber coming along has probably taken a bit of that away um, uh, from, you know, you know, a bit of bit of heart away from the actual job, what it actually means. You know, this is a customer relationship job. You know, where you, where you put your customers first all the time, uh, and, and you know, we have strayed away from that um, a bit more than I would like. Really, um, it's like the other day. Um, what was it now? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I could tell that guy was in a bit of a hurry. You know, he rang me up. He's going to the hospital. Right, and he was from a pickup from one of these fancy roads um, in Solyol again, uh, which is a, you know a more affluent uh, part of Birmingham. And obviously the pin has pinned it wrong again. And uh, so I rang him up and everything, and he, you know, and, and the first thing he said was, you know, where are you, driver? You know, I need to get to the hospital quickly. Now. You know, obviously, they mention if he's going to the hospital for himself or even for his, uh, you know, kid, whatever. But that, all that didn't actually function throughout my uh, reasoning for me thinking, you know what, if you stuff, you know, I mean, yourself here, you know, and I've, I cancelled the job. And the main, main reason for that is, you know, because obviously, it's not his attitude. It wasn't a very, very bad attitude or anything, but. You're going to rank me, you know. You're going to rate me badly here, and you know I can't be doing with that sort of thing. So I'm, a, and I'm more or less, you know, I'll leave three or four doors away from uh, uh, from the actual picking him up. But you know, you know, you know, and this is what Uber's done. It's taken the heart and soul away from um, the actual um, job itself. So anyway, um, I'm just coming up to the school. Uh, it's on my right hand side. Some road road works here. Which is, I mean, um, okay, let me just go through here, and um, this is where I drop them off just over here. That's the school. Okay, let me just return this, uh, um, well, I was going to call it package really, uh, school bag, and I'll talk to you guys in a sec. Hi hey guys, yeah, welcome back again. Yeah, so I've just done that now, and um, you know what? I feel really good about it. The receptionist uh, I've handed it to, she was a very pleasant lady actually, um, said thank you and all that sort of thing, uh, but as I said, it's more about me feeling good about it and I do feel a lot more, more better about you know what I've just done there. Um, I feel good because the kid's going to have lunch, not that he wasn't going to have lunch by the way. Um, you know, I feel good he's not going to go into any trouble because just in case in a parents would have been street, you know, they could have made it, you know, they could have got told off again. So none of that's going to happen to the kid. I'm really happy about it and um, I'll, I've got a job nearby as well, so which is good. <laughs> uh, but I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll speak to you later. Bye bye now.